So I'm going to talk you through the trigonometry missing angles homework. Um, you had a go doing this last week. Perhaps you got it all right and you don't need to watch this. Perhaps you got some things wrong and you need to have a look through the explanation because if my maths tells you the answer, it doesn't necessarily mean that you understand what you were meant to do. Um, calculators allow for this and pen and paper would be very handy because um, most of these are not one step questions where you can just keep it all in your head or your calculator and writing things down is going to be necessary. So let's begin. So figuring out the angle, uh, right angle triangles, which means it's Sokotor. And we've got the opposite in the hypotenuse, which means it's going to be sine. And you've got to remember to use inverse sine when you're doing this. Opposite over hypotenuse. So this one's going to be uh, nearest whole number, 56. This one, we've got the opposite and the adjacent. So it's going to be tan. Uh, opposite over adjacent, that's going to be 25 to the nearest whole number. This one is adjacent on the hypotenuse, this is going to be cos. Uh, 58. This one we've got. Um, Adjacent and hypotenuse, so that's cos again. I'm just trying to make it a bit more tricky by putting some decimals in, but when you've got a calculator, it doesn't really make it any more tricky. Forty-four. Uh, this one is opposite and hypotenuse, so it's sine. Forty, and this one tan opposite and adjacent. Forty-four. So let's uh, check these. Good, got them right. All right, on to the harder questions. So these look pretty similar to the uh, missing sides question, but now we're asked to work out some angles. Okay, so uh, here we have got a isosceles triangle, but if you split it down here, uh, then you're going to get a triangle where this is 14. This is going to be 5.5 because it's half of that, and we can work out this using right angle trigonometry because this is a right angle here. So um, this would be the hypotenuse, this would be the adjacent, which means we would use cos. And it's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, so 5.5 over 14. And we want to go nearest whole number, so it's going to be 67 degrees. Uh, this one here, so if this is 13 and 17, right, what can we work out? We can work out this angle, which will in turn tell us everything we need to know about this right angle, this isosceles triangle, and then vertical opposite angles will tell us x. So first thing we're going to do is work out this angle down here by C, uh, using tan. So it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse, over adjacent. So that angle is going to be 52.59, because it's isosceles, so is this one. So what's left from 180 is this angle here, and is also angle x. Seventy-five degrees, if my calculations are right. Okay. okay, now it's telling us this is equal to this, which is handy. So um, we've got twenty-four, and so we what we can do is we can, because BC is equal to seventeen, we can work out the entire angle A. And we can work out the bottom part and we can subtract them to get x. Okay, it's going to be tan because we've got opposite and adjacent. And so let's start with the entire angle. So it's going to be uh, shift tan. And then we've got opposite, which is 17 over 24. 
So it's going to be the whole angle. And if we take away that bottom angle, which is going to be another set of tan, but this time instead of 17, it's going to be half of that, 8.5 over 24. And that's going to give us 16 degrees to the nearest whole number. Okay, so check those are right. Yes, they're right. Hopefully that made sense. If it didn't, then ask. Uh, just ask in the chat, ask by email, whatever you need to do, and I'll try my best to answer your specific question. But apart from that, 